Welcome back to Fit and Strong with Mr. Ramon. Today's lesson will be about the importance of throwing. Throwing is found in many different sports. You don't become a thrower overnight. You have to practice many times. When you throw a ball, anything, you will be strengthening your balancing skills and your upper body muscles, even your leg and foot muscles. You will also be training your hand to eye coordination. During today's lesson, we will be visiting the underhand. During another lesson, then, we will speak about the overhand. Before we start practicing our throwing skills, we need to warm up. The first warming up game is called traffic lights. Um, you, if you work with somebody at home, somebody will be in charge of telling you the colors. Green means you run. Orange means you walk. Red means you freeze. Um, it will take around 30 to 1 minute, or you can adjust the time as you like. Ready? Let's start. Green. Red. Orange. Green. Orange. Red. Orange. Green Orange Red Red Orange Green Orange Orange Green Orange Red The next warm-up game is called Miss Laura Sales. She will be giving me instructions which I have to obey. Ready to do them with me? Off we go. Jog Bunny hops Hop side to side Fast run Jumping jacks. Cross country ski. Squat. Jog. Side step. Bunny hops. Hop side to side. Cross country ski. Jumping jacks. Squat, jog. All right, shake a bit. Now we'll soon get ready for our throwing. For this lesson, we will be mo mostly using either sock balls. You can also use crumpled paper, or even if you want, toilet paper rolls. I will be using mostly socks. Now, to practice the underhand row, um, I came across a rhyme which another PE teacher shared online. And it goes like this. You put your hand forward, stick, swing your hand, your arm back, tuck, step. You're going to step with the opposite leg from your hand and rock is the throw. So I'm going to repeat it again. Tick, tuck, step, and rock. So the first game is called Sog Ball Target Shooting. For this game you will need two Sog Balls because you will be playing against an opponent. You need two strips on the floor to mark the starting position. Two containers. I have two boxes, it could be a bucket, anything, container. And I have three and three flat markers. Now, I don't have enough space. If you have more space, you can add more markers. What's going to happen? On the go, each player will start with two bunny hops, one, two, and will throw the sock ball inside the container. If you manage to throw it inside the container, you'll take it to the next level. 
Go back to the start. Again, two body hops and draw the softball again. The key, the person who arrives to level three first is the winner. Don't forget two hops every time. Ready? Go. One, two. As you can see, this game can get very fun and competitive. You can repeat it as many times as you want and have as many rematches as you want. The next game is called the loo roll bowling. Reason, we'll be using a toilet roll. For this game, you'll need a toilet roll. I put it in a plastic bag not to dirty it. Two strips to mark the starting point. And I have six kittens. You can have up to 10 if you want. If you hit a strike, you get six extra points in this case. So points for any skittles you hit. If you get a strike, it's those plus an extra bonus point. This game will be played over six to eight rounds. You can choose as many rounds as you want. Don't forget to use your underhand. I remind you, tick, tuck, step, and drop. Ready? One thing I would like to remind you, if you don't have bigger bottles, big bottles, you can use either smaller ones, or if you want it more challenging, you can either fill up some water inside the bottles, or move them further away if you have more space. Ready? As you can see, the two games we played are loads of fun. You can do them as a whole family challenge, take scores and spend as much as time as you want playing them. Since during this lesson we used our upper body, we'll end up with a bit of stretching. We will start with shoulder rotations, five to the front, two, three, four, five, and five back. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we will do arm rotations. It doesn't matter if you start with the left or with the right. See that it brushes your ear. So, one, two, three, four, five, and back. One, two, three, four, five. Other arm. One, two, three, four, five, and back. One, two, three, four, five. Next, one arm straight. As if we're gonna hug ourselves with the other arm, we grab our elbow and we push towards ourselves. Five, four, three, two, one, and change. Five, four, three, one. Last exercise, I'm going to try to show you. One arm goes like this, the other one will be above our elbow and we'll pull it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Five, four, three, two, one. 
I hope you liked this lesson. Until next time, keep it.